So today I'm gonna to show you uh, this flocking kit that I got and uh, I'm making up these little boxes here which is in another video right up here if you wanna watch that. Now, um, the instructions, you have to buy a certain adhesive and the adhesive is the same color as the flocking. And in this particular case, I got a royal blue flocking going in. So it states that you fill this tube halfway, which is what I did with the flock and uh, you paint the glue inside, wherever you want it to stick, and then you just basically sprinkle your sprinkling or shooting this stuff on there, uh, and it'll stick to the glue. And after it all dries, you just tap off the stuff that you're not gonna use. So I've never used this before, so I'm gonna take you along on my first try at this. Um, two ways of doing it. Um, they say that if you're careful on your painting, that uh, you can just paint in here, and, glue, and the flock is only gonna stick where the glue is. Um, another way is to tape around the edge, which is what I did here, and I cut it with an X-Acto blade uh, to give it a nice sharp edge, but I think I'm going to get a more natural look by painting it without the tape, but I'm going to do one of each and see which one uh, comes out best. So I'm going to set this one aside for right now, and we'll work on this one first. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to take you along and see how bad I mess this up or how well we do. So. Uh, opening this up it almost looks oh that's a that's a pretty blue actually so I'm gonna make sure that the this glue is well stirred up here and it's about the consistency of paint so it looks just like a uh, blue paint as a matter of fact now the instructions recommend and I've heard people say uh, different ways but the instructions recommend that um, you put some type of finish on at least a, a beginning finish on the inside here so that this doesn't soak in so fast and that's what I did is that I use um, rub on poly and I just put one coat on the inside uh, while I was putting all the coat on the outside so uh, let's start painting. I'm using a foam brush here and I'm just gonna start painting in here and get a nice thick coat of this stuff in here for that stuff to stick to and it should be interesting to see just how well this does. Now I thought I'd try the foam brush first to see how it goes up the edges. Now you want to make sure that this is um, applied, you know, not, not super thick according to the instructions, but um, very even across there. And so that's what I'm doing. And you want to make sure that you don't let it dry. Now if you start to see it, um, dull out. I think the instructions said it'll, it'll start dulling as it, as it starts drying. Uh, you want the wet look on it and if it starts to dull you just put a little bit more glue on it. So I got the glue on that side and I'm going rather quickly on this uh, because obviously I want this to be wet when I spray the flocking on it and I don't have any idea how long this stuff takes to dry. So We'll go rather quickly here. Now on the next one, I'm going to have a rag next to me because it says if you get any glue on any part of the finish that you just basically use a rag to wipe it off. And I'll see if we need anything. Oh, that's a little bit too much there, John. So, all right, so I've got a nice coat of glue all on here. And I think I, I have no idea how this stuff is gonna shoot out. So, um, they recommend that you have it in a box uh, with plastic all around it. So, I just have it on this paper because I think whatever is left you can reuse. So, we'll see um, how well this, okay, so that's not too bad. I thought maybe it comes shooting out of here. But it tells you to use a, to, um, let me move this back here. Don't be afraid to go on thick with it. Uh, so you shouldn't see any of the glue showing. Uh, and that's sort of what I'm doing here.
I've done the first one. Uh, I'm gonna let that set for a little bit, then I'll move it out of the side, out of the way, and I'll start the other one just by painting it and see which one in the end looks better. I think that the, the tape might give a really sharp line, but it could be a little bit jagged maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, the one without the tape might be a more natural finish on the line, but um, again, it's my first try at it, so we'll see how it works. Okay, so I've, I've set my first project over here, and I'm gonna start on the second one without the tape on it. And uh, double check on the instructions to make sure I was doing everything correctly, and I was. Uh, the only difference is I'm supposed to twist the tube as I pump it, and I guess that uh, stirs up the flakes a little better, but they were coming out pretty good, so uh, I'm quite happy as the way the first one looks. It looks like everything's well coated, and it's all sticking there, so um, now I'm gonna try to do this one here. Okay, so um, again, twisting motion they say, but uh, I don't know. It seemed like it works just fine this way too. I'm twisting a little bit this time just to see, and it does disturb them a little bit more. Now it says to start at the bottom, which is what I'm doing now, and uh, then hit the sides afterwards. So, and you can take a light to shine it around to see if there are some bright or some um, shiny spots sticking through the flock, which I don't see. Yeah, my shop has enough lights going at enough different angles that um, I can sort of look around at different angles to see if there's any dark spots at all. But it seems to me like this is a relatively easy process to do, and it gives that finished look to your pieces. And I'm gonna be interested to see just exactly how this looks. Um, now, I actually thought it would be much more messier than what it actually is. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad at all. So anyway, we'll let that dry. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. It says uh, 12 to 14 hours, but uh, I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. Then I'm gonna shake off all the other pieces. You can actually blow it off with some light air, like canned air or something like that to get all the fibers out of there. Uh, all the fibers can be saved and then just put back in the bag and used over. So I have extras here. Um, once I knock them out, I'll just put them back in the bag and use them over. So uh, I will, uh, show you the results tomorrow. All right, so I waited a day and let everything dry. So now uh, we knock out the flock inside these. So um, you want to do it on top of something that you can save the flocking because it's, um, it's quite a bit that comes out of there. And it's amazing how much you can, uh, recover of this. So that's why I'm doing it on top of this paper here. So let me... And it's funny because by the time you get done, you almost have as much as you started with. It doesn't seem like you've lost all that much. I mean, you have, and it actually looks quite good. So let me move these off here. So anyway, I don't know, maybe I can get up close to the camera and show you, but um, it's quite a bit of flock that you have left over that can go back into that bag and use again. So uh, I think, you know, instead of taking the time to Put all this in here. Oh yeah, see it pulled up a little bit right there. 
So yeah, I think I would definitely go the route of no tape um, to put these together. That, and let's see. So that still has a little bit in there that I'm gonna knock out here in a minute. All right, so there's the finished pieces. Uh, it looks great. I mean, you know, having this in here really gives a finished look to the project and uh, worth the time, definitely worth the time. It takes, you know, a day because you gotta let everything dry, but um, well worth the time and really gives it a good look. I'll get some close-up shots of this so that you can see how it looks. But um, the one with the purple is the one that has the taped edge and the other one is not. So. Uh, give it a try. See how you like it. If you enjoy this video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Give it a like and hopefully you'll follow me along on some other stuff that I'm putting together and be able to give you some more advice and tips. Any questions at all, comments, please leave them below. Uh, I love hearing from you. Love hearing what your projects are. You can even throw a picture down there. Uh, that'd be great to see. So hopefully I will see you or you will see me soon.